Dear fellow coders, welcome to One Little Coder. A quick disclaimer, this video doesn't have any code at all. So this video is a summary of a very interesting paper that I recently came across. The title of the paper is Tabula Data. Deep learning is not all you need. And from the title, you can understand that what they are trying to propose is for tabular data, deep learning is not all you need. This paper is published by Ravid Schwartz-Ziff. Amitai Armon. So let's get into the papers abstract and then understand what is this. So one of the key elements of an auto ML system is that you are going to have different types of models and that will perform a particular task. And what they have found out is that an ensemble model, which is like XG boost. And when it is combined with deep learning models, the output, the accuracy that you are getting is actually better than so ensemble of the deep learning models and XG boost performs better on these data sets than even simply using XGBoost alone. But they also actually make a claim that even XGBoost alone is better than deep learning models. So if you have deep learning models, so XGBoost alone performs better than all the deep learning models that they used. So let's quickly jump into another section where they're actually saying what is the study is about. So it says that our study shows that XGBoost usually outperforms deep learning models on the data sets where the deep learning paper was not published. So a lot of deep learning models suggested for tabular data and their papers were published. So what they have figured out is that when you check the same deep learning model with a different data set other than the one that was published on the paper, XGBoost actually outperforms. Another important aspect is the hyperparameter search process was actually much short, shorter for XGBoost, which means you need less computation, less number of iterations to achieve conver uh, convergence. And the other thing that they're suggesting, which is also a good news for deep learning practitioners, along with other deep other classical machine learning model practitioners is that you, when you combine deep learning models with especially XGBoost, this ensemble achieves better result or the best result than simply using deep models without XGBoost at all. And it also performs than uh, any of the ensemble classical models. So XGBoost to quickly give you XGBoost plus DL performs better than either simply XGBoost or simply DL or also XGBoost plus plus which is like classical ensemble or also DL plus plus just you know ensemble of deep learning models. So that is a very good news that we have got. So the models that they considered in this for this particular paper is Tabnet which is a very very popular uh, framework or I should say uh, like a library for tabular data based on PyTorch and they have also considered neural oblivious decision ensembles which is node DNF net and then also a one dimensional CNN. So you might actually see 1D CNN does a lot better than other models and then they have also considered ensemble of all the models. So uh, what, what, what is their criteria? Their criteria is that for real world applications, a model should perform accurately and it should be trained and make inferences efficiently and it should have a shorter optimization time, which means like you need less computation power. So what is their experiment setup? So the data sets that they used are from the papers actually published when these uh, libraries were introduced, Tabnet, DNFNet, Node. And other than that, they also used some other data sets from Kaggle, which none of these papers you know published benchmark scores with so the data set that they used are um, forest cover type x boson ear prediction roseman store sales gas concentration eye movement gesture phase mslr epsilon shrew time and blast share so these are the more uh, data sets that they used and then you can look at the appendix for further detail about what are these data sets and what kind of information it has got and for hyper parameter tuning uh, optimization they used Hyperopt, so which is a Bayesian based uh, optimization library. So now that we know what is the setup is, let's look into what the results look like. So when you look at the results, uh, before we even read the summary, let's quickly look at this table. This is a very interesting table. So we have got multiple data set 
uh, and when you look at the data sets so one thing that you need to keep an eye on is the first two data sets were from tabnet paper the second this these three this 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 from uh, sorry not this this from uh, dnf data set and then you have a different one which is um, this this from node paper and then this these three are from node paper and then the final two these two are a different data sets altogether and if you actually notice for these two data sets when you only compare the top result which is it's not an ensemble which is like individual models so you have got xg boost you have got node you have got dnf uh, xnet tabnet 1d cnn within the deep learning models you can uh, you can actually see in this case node has done better and in this case uh, again node has done better but if you compare overall the lesser score is better if you compare overall for both shrew time and blast car uh, you would see that uh, xg boost has the best score 13.82 and 20.39 which is much much better than any of these other library uh, other uh, deep learning techniques but on the other hand when you actually combine this xg boost with all the deep ensemble then you see that this one where you have got a simple ensemble where you have got an ensemble with without xg boost ensemble without xg boost and then finally an ensemble with xg boost and that outperforms all these models uh in in a decent way so like especially if you are looking for accuracy for uh, something like a kaggle model then you would know that um, every single point decimal point matters and then you can see that uh, it it has actually outperformed so now let's look at the summary what they have given so the summary is models perform worse on unseen data set so that is quite a shocker thing and uh, probably i think this is this is quite pertinent across uh, the research papers whenever it is published so the benchmark scores that they have given do good on their own data set that the data set that they use for the particular paper but it it does bad that's what that's what we actually saw right so for these two data sets those um, deep learning models actually do not do great and then xg boost actually outperform uh, all the deep learning models and then no single deep learning model consistently outperform except probably 1d cnn uh, which uh, seem to perform on uh, other data sets like even data sets that are not like part of their like if you see 1d cnn when you have uh, when you see uh, other data sets you would see like 1d cnn doing better and finally the ensemble of the most important thing i think uh, even the one that i like is the ensemble of deep learning models with xg boost performs a lot better than or i should say best performance go so ensemble of deep learning model with xg boost so that tells us that xg boost with deep learning models is the best way for you to get the highest accuracy on uh, on uh, on any tabular data set and if you really care about like optimization or like uh, computation power then simple xg boost will uh, help you stay at the top of the game even without deep learning models and finally before we wrap up so the important thing that we need to notice the ensemble of classical models uh performed much worse than the ensemble of deep learning models that is a good news for deep learning practitioners and additionally the ensemble of deep learning models alone without xg boost also did not give good result so what gave ultimately good result is the one with deep learning model and also xg boost and that gave good result on all these data sets like that is that is a good news and one final information about uh, computational optimization is xg boost outperformed deep models and converged to good performance more quickly in fewer iterations which means shorter runtime which means shorter cost so they are they are actually assuming it, it is probably due to a bunch of factors but one of the thing that they are saying is maybe xg boost model has got some inherent characteristics that makes it more robust and easier to optimize and that is a good area for research to investigate so to summarize quickly uh, xg boost outperforms all the tab all the deep models for tabular data and none of the deep models outperform xg boost like vice versa and this is very important um, thing especially given that we focus on a lot of auto ml solutions which are which usually uh, doesn't i think as far as i know doesn't combine 
deep learning models and classical machine learning models either you 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 combine a bunch of you know classical machine learning models like cat boost light gbm xg boost even on kaggle that's what you would see or people would combine all the deep learning models but this hybrid combination of combining xg boost and deep learning model seems to be a very interesting take and then that is that is one very good thing that has come out of this paper and thanks to the authors ravid and uh, amitai for publishing this paper this was a very interesting paper and then i'm also personally happy to see xg boost uh, staying top of the game uh, if you do not know xg boost at one point ruled kaggle so like if you want to win kaggle if you want to get gold medal so the easiest way was to uh, use xg boost and uh, i think xg boost even became very popular with a lot of kaggle competitions even um, um, even i think xg boost uh, creator himself would have uh, uh, participated i think or for benchmark scores so seeing xebo still doing great and then also complementing to existing deep learning models and then the combination becoming a powerful um, competitor for existing other deep learning models uh, makes me happy i want to know whether you feel good about it and if you have any questions please let me know in the comment section otherwise if you enjoy this paper please give a shout out to the authors on uh, twitter or any other social media that you are part of and then you share your knowledge with others please subscribe to the channel and if you have got any question uh, i'm really happy to take feedback until next video stay safe